In this example, we're asked to find the domain and range of the graph below and write their answer in interval notation form. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to ask you, is this the graph of a function? Does it pass the vertical line test? Yes, it doesn't matter where you draw that line. You're only going to hit it once. Now let's find the domain. We want to know how far does it extend to the left and to the right. Now the key here is that you have uh, these arrows at both ends. And because you have arrows on both ends, that means that it never stops. It's going to go on and on and on. So when we close our domain and range for this example, we have to use parentheses instead and not brackets. You use brackets when it start and stop at a point. If it goes on forever, we use a parentheses to close. So let's go ahead and find the domain, how far it extends to the left and to the right. Uh, if we, because we have arrows on both ends, it's going to go forever to the left and it's going to go forever to the right. So therefore, the domain is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. So it may be hard to wrap your head around why this is the case. But again, um, the fact that it has arrows is going to shoot forever on the left side. It's going to shoot forever on the right side. Range, how high, how low? Well, again, we have these uh, arrows here. So range is going to shoot forever ever up in the uh, positive region and it's going to shoot forever ever down in the negative region so our range is going to be from negative infinity to positive infinity so anytime you have a line like this um, it doesn't matter whether it's a positive slope or a negative slope any not any line except a vertical or horizontal line any line except vertical or horizontal, will have a domain and range from negative infinity to positive infinity.